Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, thank you for waiting. All right, are you ready okay. to get started? Let's do it. Okay, very good. So first thing, right? Uh, I want to ask you, uh, where are you in the platform? Donde están en la plataforma? Porque eso es sumamente importante. <clears throat> que no se atrasen. Uh, did you finish section one? Huh? It's finished. Carlos is it's finished with section one. Yes. Finish. Okay. Ver uh, is finished. Uh, <clears throat> no? Los ejercicios del, de, del once no me salieron. I have a problem. Okay. okay. Si, tienen, si tienen esa pregunta, pues voy a dejar, okay. voy a dejar unos 10 minutos antes de la clase para, para ver eso, todas esas preguntas. Para ver lo de las preguntas de la plataforma. All right, but um, are you are you already finishing section one? Uh, Brian, are you finished with section nine? Yes, I'm finished. Very good, Esmeralda. Are you finished with section one? Uh, Guillermo, finish section one? No, teacher, todavía me falta. Okay, Herman, are you finished with section nine? Finish, teacher. Very good. Genaro, are you finished with section nine, a uh, section one? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. David, are you finished with section one? No. Falta, profe. Okay, you have to finish this week. Right, vamos a hacer una sección por semana. Eh, remember, también, hay un examen de la mitad y hay un examen final. Okay. So, tiene que tomar eso en cuenta también. Alejandra, are you finished with section one? Yes, I am finished. Okay, very good. All right. So, if you have any questions, please let me know. Today, we're going to spend 10 minutes at the end of the class. Es decir, los últimos 10 minutos de clase. So that we can go over the questions. All right. Okay. Did you receive the the job aid? Recibieron la guía. I sent it, right? Yes. Verdad que yes. sí la mandé. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Let me let me just take it out. Okay. So this is class number four. Job A number four. Yo le, yo le llamo guía, verdad? Like uh, extra help that we do, okay? Um, I like to do different activities. And um, I think it's going to be fun for us today. All right, very good. So section 1.13 is the one that we're going to look at today. It's talking about special occasions, special occasions, right? Uh, let me do, let me take out a presentation. Hold on. Okay, let me see. Quiero ver si pueden ver esta. Hold on. Ah, aquí está. Finally, found it. I found it. Okay, very good. Special occasions. So we're going to go ahead and look at that right now. This is the lesson one uh, one point thirteen. Okay. Special occasions. Repeat after me. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Right? What day is Mother's Day on? Mother's Day on here in El Salvador. What day? Saint 
beginning of May. 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 Okay. Remember to say 18. 18. Eight. It's Mother's Day. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Next, the next special occasion. Father's Day. Repeat. Father's Day. Father's Day. What day does Father's Day fall on? What day is Father's Day in El Salvador? Mm. Hmm? ¿Qué día cae Father's Day? <laughs> you guys, you forgot? June. 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 Father, Father Day's June. Yeah, he's June. on 17, yeah. 17. June 17. June 17. June 17. Father's Day. June 17. Very good. Father's uh, Day. Another special occasion that we can have, right, is graduation day. Okay. Maybe you graduated from the university, you graduated from high school. Okay. Graduation day. Another That's special nice. occasion. Graduation day. Graduation day. day. Oh. Wedding day. day. Sorry, aquí me faltó otra D. So it's two Ds. Wedding, wedding day. Wedding, wedding, day. Uh, wedding day. Excellent. Very good. Right? Uh, for example, once you have a wedding day, right? So that's the day. But if you wait one year after your wedding day is going to be your anniversary anniversary okay anniversary very good so so you have wedding day right un año después sería anniversary anniversary very good anniversary the first anniversary. Aha, uh -huh, your first anniversary. All right. So, things that we do on special days. What do you normally do? Uh, mm -hmm. Send cards. Repeat after send me. Send cards. Send cards. Send cards. Right. All right. Very good. Mandar una tarjetita, right? To someone, send cards. Sound cards. Something else that we do on special days, special days, give presents. Give presents. Repeat, give presents. Give presents. Give presents. Something else give that we do present. on special days, take pictures. Take, take pictures. Picture. Take pictures. Take, take picture. picture. Right? Now we take pictures with our cell phone, right? Yeah. Special days, like a wedding, right? You're going to take pictures with your cell phone. Take picture. Another thing that we can do on a special occasion, we can yeah. sing songs. Sing songs. Sing song. Like uh, sing karaoke. Song. Right? Karaoke. Karaoke. Sing songs. Sing songs song in karaoke. Sing songs. Very good. Another thing that we can do on special days, dance. 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 Oh, like dance. Yeah, dance. dance. With family, dance. right? Dance. Uh, I like dance. Something like else dance. that we can do. <laughs> I like it's, it cake. It cake. <laughs> it cake. cake. Special occasions, for example, a wedding, birthday party. We like to eat cake, right? Eat cake. Okay. Another thing that we can do for a special occasion, have a party. Have a, a, a party. Have a party. Uh, Something uh, else that we can do for a special occasion, have a picnic. Have a picnic. Have a picnic. Have a picnic. 
have have a picnic. Very good. Have a picnic. Something else that we do on special days: eat special food. Eat special food. Eat for example, food. Amer Americans they eat special food on Thanksgiving. Okay. Now, very good. Now I want to show yes. you. I want to show you this. This is called adverbs, frequency adverbs. Okay. Now, what they do is they show us how often you do something. Okay. I can move forward. Si pueden apagar los micrófonos, please. Microphones off. Okay. Very good. So, adverbs of frequency, we use them to describe how often we do something. For example, if you do something, Voy a usar un ejemplo, a sentence, for example. I, sorry. I, y voy a dejar esa palabra, the frequency adverb that we're going to use. I always dance on weddings, right? Si 100% de las veces que tú vas a la boda, a una boda, te pones a bailar, you can say always, right? Always quiere decir siempre, always, okay? That's 100% de las veces. Usually, usually, like 90% of the time. Normally, or you can say generally. Es como decir, ah, normalmente. I normally dance on weddings. Eh, like 80%. Often. Often. Or you can say frequently. Quiere decir algo así como, ah, 70% de las veces. I often dance on weddings. Okay. Sometimes. Quiere decir 50-50. Right? 50% of the time. Eh, you think sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Right? Occasionally. Occasionally. Quiere decir algo así como 30% de las veces. Like, eh, ocasionalmente, occasionally. Seldom. Mm, casi nunca. Right? Rarely. It's the same in Spanish, raramente. So it's like 5% of the time. Never. I never dance on weddings. 0%. Okay. Very good. Preguntas? Questions? How do we use this? Questions? Frequency average? Okay, let's... Let me ask you a question, right? So, I, le voy a hacer una pregunta. How often? How often quiere decir que tan frecuentemente. Okay. How often do you uh, do you dance uh, in, on Christmas? How often do you dance in Christmas, on Christmas, okay? How would you answer this question? No. Oh. Okay, <laughs> entonces tenés que usar la estructura que usé aquí, que puse al inicio. So you can use this one, Carlos. Solo cambiale, but the, the wedding sería Christmas. I never dance on Christmas. Christmas, very good, very good. Okay, excellent. So we can change it. You can say here, uh, let me change it, hold on. I, okay, very good. So you change it, right, Carlos? You say, I never dance on Christmas. Uh, Okay, very good. Uh, 
Uh, let's say another person, Alejandra, how often do you dance on Christmas? I sometimes dance on uh, Christmas. Often. Okay, very good. Carlos, puedes apagar el micrófono, ya que no lo estaba usando. Okay, Hector, how often do you dance on Christmas? As I often dance on Christmas. Very good. Vere, how often do you dance on Christmas? I usually dance on Christmas. Very good. Excellent. Let's say who else? Uh, Tago, uh, how often do you dance on Christmas? I, I occasionally dance on Christmas. Very good. All right. Now I'm going to change the question here, right? I'm going to ask you, how often do you uh, eat special food for a, let's say, a special day in El Salvador for uh, Thanksgiving? No sé si celebran algunos Thanksgiving, but some people do. How often do you eat special food for Thanksgiving? Uh, let's see, uh, Brian, how often do you eat special food for Thanksgiving? I occasionally eat special, special food, food for Very Thanksgiving. Very good. David, how often do you eat special food for Thanksgiving? I never eat uh, special food for Thanksgiving. Okay. Maybe you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, right? Yes, yeah, I do. You do? Yes, do you celebrate Thanksgiving? No, no, ah. I don't. Ah, okay. How often no. do you have a party? How often do you have a party? Uh, Andrea, how often do you have a party? Andrea Garcia. I never do. I never a party. have a party. Very good. Uh, let's say, Herman, how often do you have a party? Uh, I rarely have a party in, in my house. Okay, very good. David, how often do you have a party? Hey. Hello, David. Okay. Can you repeat that, please? Yes. How often do you have a party? Um, I never. I don't like dance. I know. No. Okay. So you use never, right? I never have a party. I never. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So le let's go back. I just want to go back. Ya vamos a usar esto, right? But this is called frequency adverbs. Es para descri describir qué tan frecuentemente hago cierta acción, right? Okay, repeat one more time. Always. Always. Usually. 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 Normally. 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 Generally. Generally. Often. 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 Frequently. Frequently. Sometimes. Sometimes. Occasionally. 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 Seldom. Seldom. Rarely. Seldom. Rarely. Rarely. Never. Never. All Never. right, let's, let's look at the examples that we have here, right? Look at these examples. I always wake up at six o'clock. I always wake up at six o'clock. Another example can be, I usually come home after work. Another example, 
I normally swim after school. Another example, I often spend Christmas with friends. Okay. I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. I seldom go to the library. I rarely listen to the radio. I never listen to rock music. Okay, very good. So I hope you guys learned something with that, okay? So now we can ask a question here, right? Podemos hacer una pregunta usando esta estructura. Listen, how, uh, what do you do on, and then we put a special day, okay? En forma de pregunta, right? What do you usually do on Christmas? Let's say, for example, Carlos, eh, what do you usually do on Christmas? What do you... What do you usually do on Christmas? Um, ¿Qué normalmente usted hace para la Navidad? Navidad. What do you usually do on Christmas? I am visit my family. Okay. You can use, acordate los frequency adverbs. Always, sometimes, never. Yeah. I know. Okay. Always, yes. Always. Uh, I am always uh -huh. and visit my family. Very good. So you can do it like this. Usando esta estructura aquí para responder. I always, right? I always. Pues vamos a usar un verbo. Visit, visit my family. My family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Ahí está. I always visit my family. Okay. Very good. Aquí hay otros ejemplos. I sometimes dance on, in weddings. I never dance in weddings. I always send cards on Valentine's. We always cook for Thanksgiving Day. Okay. Very good. So recuerden la estructura. ¿ver? Ya la vamos a usar. I. Y después podemos poner un frequency adverb, ¿verdad? Puede ser de lo que aprendimos. Sometimes, usually, never. Y después necesitamos un verbo, ¿verdad? Para describir la acción que tomamos. I always visit, y después, my family on Christmas. Special day. ¿Ok? All right, very good. So yo le voy a hacer una pregunta. What do you usually do on? Y le voy a mostrar un día especial. ¿Ok? What do you usually do on? Y les voy a mostrar un día especial. Ustedes pueden responder con esta estructura. ¿Ok? All right, let's go back. Okay. What do you usually do on Mother's Day? What do you usually do on Mother's Day? ¿Mm? ¿Cómo celebran uh... ustedes Mother's Day? ¿Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I guess. always mm -hmm. eat cake. I always eat cake. Very good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to write it. I always eat cake. Very good. Very good. Now, si están hablando de sus familiares, you can right? say we, right? You can say we. We always eat Okay. Okay. Nosotros. That's, sí, nosotros. Correct. Very good. Very good. Excellent. ¿Quién más? Eh, Guillermo, what do you do on Mother's Day? I always give present for my mother. Good, good. Eh, Brian, what do you do on Mother's Day? We always eat a special food on Mother's Day. Very good. 
Okay, let's see. Father's Day. Eh, Esmeralda, what do you do on Father's Day? How do you spend Father's Day? I usually visit my father. Very good, excellent. I usually visit my father. All right, very good. Okay, ya vamos a ir a las prácticas así, pero quiero que todos entendamos. All right, very good. Claudia, what do you do on Father's Day? Claudia, Claudia. Mm -hmm. I sometimes eat um, meat. Okay. I, I sometimes eat meat. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's say graduation day. Uh, this is uh, only for the people that finish university. Um, wedding days. Uh, Hablamos de weddings, bodas, ok, weddings, eh, se escribe con doble D, ok. Uh, what do you do on weddings, eh, Guillermo, what do you usually do on weddings? Guillermo? Wednesday. Eh... What do you usually do on weddings? I never dance. Okay, very good. I never dance. Brian, what do you usually do on weddings? I always give presents. Okay, very good. I always give presents. Excellent, very good. Okay, one more. What do you do for your anniversary? Uh, Dago, what do you do for your anniversary? I always buy a gift. Very good, excellent. I always buy a gift. All right, very good. So we're gonna go now, all right? Remember the different activities. Repeat after me, send a card, send cards, give presents, give presents, take pictures, take pictures, sing songs, sing songs, dance, eat cake. Have a day. Have a party. Have a picnic. Eat special food. All right, very good. So now I'm going to share with you the activity that we're going to do. All right, ya voy para la guía so that we can go ahead and do this. Okay, so. Right? La pregunta sería, what do you do? And then put the special day. Okay? Usted le puede preguntar a otra persona, ¿verdad? What do you do on Mother's Day? What do you do on Father's Day? Okay? ¿Cómo puede responder la otra persona? I normally cook turkey for Thanksgiving. Okay? We always eat pupusa for Mother's Day. We never send cards on Christmas. Okay? Very good. So, esto lo, se lo voy a pasar por el grupo de WhatsApp, okay? Para que tengan la pregunta y cómo responder. All right. Lo que vamos a hacer es conversation. Okay? Eh, usted le va a preguntar a otras personas, what do you do for, y pónganle el día especial. What do you do for Mother's Day? What do you do for Father's Day? What do you do for Thanksgiving? ¿Se acuerdan todo lo que aprendimos ayer? What do you do for New Year's? Right? Y la persona va a responder. ¿Cómo va a responder? Con la estructura. Right? All right. Questions? Vamos a ir a grupos. 
All right, so ask the question and, and get more information. All right, let's go to groups. Okay, let me see, vamos a hacer grupo de tres. Okay, let's go. Accept the invitation, please. Uh, Guillermo, please accept the invitation, please go to your group, Esmeralda. Perdón. I usually have a party with my family. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Okay. Hola, hola. Hi, le puse que le pedí ayuda porque nadie más había entrado al grupo. Uh, Guillermo se atrasó. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Okay, very good. So, uh, right there in WhatsApp, I put the picture, right? Alguien va a preguntar, what do you do on? Y pónganle un día especial, algún tipo de holiday. What do you do for Christmas? What do you do for, on Thanksgiving? Okay? okay. La otra persona va a responder, okay. right? I sometimes, I usually, I always. Okay. okay. Pregunte usted, hey. Vaya, ahorita busco la imagen. Permítame. Permítame, permítame, permítame. La mando en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Yes. Así ah, aquí. No les escucho. What do you do for Christmas, Héctor? Isma, eh, I, I will go eat. Okay, very good. Eh, solo que es, eh, we say always. Always. With always. S. Always. 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 Very good. Very good. Uh, okay, continue, David. Continue. What do you what do you do for Christmas? Tell me, tell me. I always eat, eat cake, eat, eat chicken. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> eat, ¿cómo sería? Dar regalos. Ah, ¿cómo se dice? Keep nice food. Food. Give presents. What do you do for Christmas, Claudia? I usually eat special food. Good. Um, I always eat a lot chicken. Good. Hi. <laughs> ¿Quién pregunta? David, para David, what do you do? Very good, very good. Continue, continue. Ahora otra persona, ahora Héctor, pregunte, come on, come on. Okay. What do you find uh, today? Repeat, repeat the question, please, Héctor. What do you for Father's Day? What do you do for Father's Day? Do. What do you do for Father's Day? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
¿A quién, no, ¿a, quién, ¿A quién está preguntando, Héctor? Este... <risa> Delmi, que es la otra. Una que ah, estaba ahí. Delmi. I don't know, father. I don't know, father, pero... Eh, independent days. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Qué chiborristas? <risa> no, Cheerleaders. No, no sé. Cheerleaders. Okay. I will always go, go to see the, the cheerleaders. Yes. Good, good. Refrescar la, la vista. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> okay. Bien. Eh, ¿Quién pregunta ahora? Daniel, eh, what do you do eh, Mother Day? Uh. I way visit my mother. Okay. Pregunta, mm -hmm. ¿quién pregunta? Uh, Daniel, what do you do on English class day? Raro de que vaya el gonna y el frequency. Gonna y el going to. Ajá, cabal. Okay. And Brian, you do on um, new year on new year on new year we always ha have a party with my with my family Excellent. okay creo que ya terminamos <laughs> <laughs> solo una pregunta nombre what do you do on halloween i never celebrate halloween okay um, what do you do on Memorial Day? Sería como... Día de muertes. I always go to the church. Excellent. Okay. okay. Nos podemos Bye. retirar. Sí, sí. Todavía esperamos. No, pueden, pueden sal salir si quieren. Vaya. Okay, very good. Let me ask you. Eh, bueno, ya les pregunté, right? A ustedes, a varios. Eh, Brian, what do you usually do for Mother's Day? Brian, Brian. We always have a party. Good, good. Eh, let's say, Herman, what do you usually do for Semana Santa? Oh. I always um, visit a temple. Wow, temple? Nice. Temple. Church? Sí. Okay, church. So, I, I, I always visit the church. Okay, church. good, good. And, the, and, and beach, and beach. Ah, okay. and go beach, to the beach. Playa, beach. Go to the beach. And go to the beach. <laughs> Oh. All right, excellent, very good. Okay, I have one activity that we're going to do, okay? Listen up, listening activity, all right? So, quiero, quiero que co pueden allí en un pedacito de papel. Quiero que hagan esto, okay? Hey. Copy this, copien esto. Uh, just put, hey, look, hey. son tres cuadritos hey, y cuatro cuatro espacios. One, two, three, four. Page. All right, very good. Le voy a dar 30 segundos to copy that. In, in I'm the paper. ready. Ooh, fast, fast. Very good. 
Disturbing, disturbing activity. Oh. Ok. So, tiene que tener esto. Name, activity, and special occasion. One, two, three, four. Okay, ready? Now, I'm going to give you information. All right? No quiero que escriban toda la oración que yo voy a decir. Solamente escriban name, activity, special occasion. For example, right? Puede ser algo así. Um, eh, I think Herman. Uh, voy a usar un ejemplo así como el de Herman. Herman, activity, eh, church, go to church, special occasion, Semana Santa, me dijo. Okay? Puede ser algo así, right? Now, yo le voy a dar información ahorita. Ok, ustedes solo tienen que llenar esos tres espacios. All right, ready? Very good. Ok. Ready. Yes, yes, ready. So, va a ser como a listening activity. Number one. Number one. Hello, my name is Tom. I like to send cards for Christmas. Lo voy a repetir tres veces, all right? Cada una. Number one. My name is Tom. I like to send cards for Christmas. One more time. Una vez más. My name is Tom. I like to send cards for Christmas. Okay, number two, my name is Maria. I like to have a party for my graduation. Number two, my name is Maria. I like to have a party for my graduation. One more time. Number two, my name is Maria. I like to have a party for my graduation. Number three, my name is Hugo. I like to dance at weddings. Number three, my name is Hugo. I like to dance at weddings. Number four, my name is John. I like to give presents for Mother's Day. Number four, my name is John. I like to give presents for Mother's Day. Okay. Finish? Yeah, finish. finish All right. Please. All right. So, number one. Tom. The name is? Tom. 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 Yes. Activity? Send cars. cars. and send cars. A special occasion? Christmas. 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 Ah, escucharon bien. Very good. Yes. Number two. Maria. My name is Maria. 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 I like to have a party. 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 Or my graduation. 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 Very good. Very good. Number three. 
My Ugo. name is Ugo. Ugo. Dance. I like to dance. I like to dance. dance. Where? Weddings. Weddings. Wedding. Weddings. Wedding. I like to dance Wedding. at weddings. Weddings. Number four. John. My John. name is John. John. Present. I like to give. Give present. Give. Good present, good present. Or Mother Day. Mother Day. Mother's Day. Mother Day. Mother's Day. Mother Day. Yes. Very good. Very good. Eso, eso, es, eh, eso se llama active listening. Right? So están mejorando su comprensión del idioma. Very good. Okay. Questions? Preguntas? Okay. No. I, I want to I want to go to the to the platform. Quiero ir a la plataforma, so alisten todas sus preguntas. Voy a ir a la plataforma de inglés corporativo. Okay. Wait. Okay. Eh, let me see, please. Okay, section one. Teacher, yes. I have a question. Eh, ¿Usted puede ver el progreso de, de sus alumnos? Mm, yo creo que sí. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yes. Uno por uno, no por el, así como todo el grupo. Tendría que como ingresar a individual. Ah, ok. Eh, pero usted mismo puede ver también su progreso. Hay una página, una pestaña, perdón, que dice progreso. Progreso. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, yeah. okay. Ahí puede Yo estar. la su... primera barrita ahí. <risas> All right, very good. Now, obviamente no le va a salir de total todavía, ¿verdad? Porque todavía falta otras secciones. Okay, very good. So, a section, uh, la primer knowledge check was 1.4. ¿Alguien tuvo alguna pregunta o duda en esta sección? No. 1.4. Okay, so, eh, no, algunos, no. algunos todavía no han hecho eso, pero tienen que escuchar la entrevista. Aquí está. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, question. Uh -huh. Question. Yes. Eh, el número uno once del ejercicio. Ese sí no me, me da falla todo. Okay, ya vamos para allá. So, eh, primer ejercicio knowledge check one point four. Todo bien. Nadie tiene pregunta. Perfect. Okay, very good. Now, no. en cada video, no sé si ustedes se dieron cuenta, pero pueden escribir, ¿verdad? For example, yes. right? Eh, aquí está el video de months and dates. Y aquí hay eh, personas que han escrito su respuesta, right? Eh, según lo que preguntan en el video, ustedes pueden escribir acá. Eh, ¿Cómo escribo yo? Tengo que ir aquí donde dice Add a Post. Right? Bajo título, yo prefiero oh, que pongan su nombre. Normally, generally, mm -hmm. okay, frequently, sometimes. Ok, so prefiero, eh, prefiero que pongan su nombre aquí donde dice título y aquí pueden escribir, ¿verdad? Para que salga su nombre ahí. Ok, so pueden escribir según lo que pide el profesor en los videos. Uh, después de eso tenemos 1.11. All right, very good. Uh, question, eh, Hector, what is your question? What number? In the in the negative or expression. Uh -huh, but okay, I conversation one, conversation two, conversation three, four. Conversation two. Conversation, conversation two. two in B. Okay. It says here, what are you I don't know. going to do for Halloween? ¿Verdad? Esa es la pregunta. La otra persona responde. I don't know. I am not. I don't know. 
All right? eso, está en, eso está en la guía, ¿verdad? Porque, ¿se acuerda, eh, Héctor? En la guía sí. expliqué cómo hacer el negativo de going to. ¿Ok? ¿Quién, ¿Quién le puede ayudar aquí a, a, a Héctor? I am. I'm going, going to. ¿Cómo I sería? Am I, am I, am I am not. I am, I am not. Going, going, to, going to. to. Going to. to. Y, y el verbo. Uh -huh. No, el verbo ya. Yes. Ah, no, necesita. Not going to. Do. I am not going do. to. Do. I am not going to. Do. Do anything special. I can't. Yes. I am Correct. not going to do anything special. Eh, yeah, tengan, cu tengan cuidado de no dejar espacios extra. Entre las palabras, no, no dejar espacios extra. Por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Y vengo aquí y escribo not y dejo dos espacios. Going to do. Ahí no me la va a aceptar, ¿verdad? Porque dejé dos espacios en medio. ¿Ok? ¿Qué pasa si okay. le pongo un punto? No me la va a aceptar. Tampoco. Tampoco. ¿Qué pasa si, si escribo así? Y algunas grandes, otras chiquitas. No, no me lo va a aceptar tampoco. ¿Ok? Normal. All right. No, Very no, good. To do. Questions? ¿Alguna otra sección? Eh, this is section 1.1. ¿Alguna otra duda, pregunta? ¿Alguien no le aceptó la respuesta en la plataforma o algo así? ¿Questions? Ok, that is 1.1, right? Después tenemos otro knowledge check. Eh, creo que hay otro ejercicio en el 1.16, ok? Veamos este, instructions. Read the article. Then answer whether the sentence presented in each article is true or false. Okay. So I have to read the article. Cada, uno, cada pregunta tiene un article. Okay. So you have to answer true or false for that section. ¿Ya terminaron esta? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Only question. Ajá. Questions? No, no, no. No question. No questions. <laughs> me dice, me dice, only question. <laughs> All right, very good, right? Ok. Eh, nos eh, terminamos acá, ¿verdad? Con esta sección, pero pueden seguir a la sección 2, no hay problema. Solo prefiero que no se adelanten mucho, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, siempre les voy a contestar si me dice teacher la respuesta de la sección 5 siempre les voy a responder pero prefiero que también ustedes estén en la clase para poder ver esos temas okay. eh, pero si sí pueden pueden avanzar okay. a la sección 2 no hay problema eh, quiero ver si hay un examen al... este sería section 2 Quiero ver si eh, está el examen todavía acá. En, um, en el 3. Sí, aquí está, ¿verdad? En el 3. Yeah. Midterm, right? So Midterm. I, midterm exam. Hay cinco midterm. secciones. Cinco secciones. So tomen en cuenta eso, ¿verdad? Vayan ustedes organizando su tiempo. Porque cada semana vamos a hacer una sección y un poquito más. Recuerden que también ahí está la sección del examen y está la sección del examen final. El midterm exam y el examen final. Que cada una tiene varias secciones. Ok. Dicho. Sí. Y el examen, podemos ir contestando lo que hemos visto. Del middle, middle de, exam. Del midterm. Del midterm. ¿Sí? Eh, ya que lo son... hemos visto hasta ahorita. Ya que son varias, eh, cinco secciones, podés empezar. Por ejemplo, si te hay preguntas de going to, entonces ya podés tú contestar esas. Ok. ¿Verdad? Lo que pero, hemos visto nada más. ¿va? Sí, pero acuérdate que van a haber algunas cosas que tal vez no, sí, obviamente no, no han visto. Ah, no, yo digo las secciones que ya vimos. 
Vaya, por ejemplo, aquí está el midterm, ¿verdad? ¿eh? La primera sección, A, is listening. Ok. So, por ejemplo, aquí está la, la eh, age, las fechas, right? So, si te sientes que sí, puedes contestar, dale. No, no problem, ok? Pueden repetir el, el, la, las secciones o las pruebas las veces que quieran. Okay. Su nota mínima es de 80, ok? So, traten de, de alcanzar esa meta o más. Ok, preguntas, questions. Ok, mañana no hay clase. Eh, a pesar de que en la programación de Zoom, en el, 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 el link de Zoom, eh, que yo les mando, eh, dice que hay clase el viernes. Pero yo pregunté, es porque eh, de, dejan ese día así como disponible por si tenemos que reponer algún día, algún, algún tiempo. Pero no, no tenemos clase mañana. So, ¿Qué pueden hacer? Yo por eso les mando las guías para que ustedes durante el fin de semana tengan algo que ver, ya que la, el, la tra, el trabajo de la plataforma lo pueden hacer bastante rápido, ¿verdad? Eh, pero tienen las guías y hay varias prácticas allí que ustedes pueden realizar. ¿Ok? All right. ¿Preguntas? Sí. ¿Question? Sí, ok. Ah, Carlos. Y mandó una aplicación de Duolingo. ¿Qué, tal, ¿Qué tan efectiva es esa aplicación? Es buena para, para aprender vocabulario. Ah, okay. Es buena. Es buena para aprender vocabulario. Pero sí, no te va a explicar el uso de going to en forma negativa, cómo hacer preguntas WH con going to. No, no te va a explicar nada de eso, ¿verdad? Pero sí es como una forma divertida para que durante mi día Estoy, estoy pensando en inglés. Okay. Traten de tener bloques de, de tiempo, sesiones así cortas de cinco minutos durante su día, donde ustedes piensan en inglés. Eh, porque imagínense, 10 horas en el trabajo ya directas, solo español, y después venir aquí y cambiar el cassette en una hora de inglés, no, no va a pasar. ¿verdad? Entonces traten de tener como bloques pequeños de cinco minutos por lo menos, agarro el teléfono, veo algo, veo la guía, veo la, algún ejercicio de la plataforma, algo que me ponga a, a pensar en inglés para que no sienta, ¿verdad? No lo siento, ese switch de cambiar el cassette no lo siento muy difícil. Esa es mi recomendación. Sí, puedes usar esa. Esa, esa aplicación, sí, definitivamente. Ok, I'll see you tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, no, Monday, I see you Monday. Monday. See you, teacher. Okay. Take care, bye. bye.